Hello, my name's Joshua. Welcome to Specs and Specs, the music quiz show that was somebody you used to know, but now we only keep in touch via Facebook. Yeah. <laughs> Would you please welcome our team captains, the blue jean baby Ella Hooper. <laughs> and the seamstress for the band, it's Adam Richard. <laughs> Ella's first guest is a rock and roll legend, a writer, an actor, a radio DJ, and once voiced a character in the Bob the Builder film. <laughs> can she multitask? Yes, she can. It's Susie Quattro. <laughs> Ella's second team member is a comedian who knows every word to Vanilla Ice's Ice Ice Baby. Oh. Who says Gen Y don't have any real life skills? <laughs> Please welcome from Triple J, Lewis Hobber. <laughs> Adam's first guest said she wanted to get lonely and depressed when recording her last album, so she went to Tasmania. <laughs> Someone's not getting quoted in the new Tasmanian tourism ads. Please welcome Gosling, otherwise known as Helen Froome. <laughs> and Adam's final guest is a comedian who told us he listened to a lot of Dean Martin. This guest is the guy from Dirty Laundry Live, it's a Mooney. <laughs> Please welcome Lawrence Mooney. Now, Susie, I want to start with you. This is not the first time you've been in this studio. You've been... Countdown was filmed in here and you hosted Countdown? I did host Countdown yeah. years ago. I've been coming here since 1974. 1974. Wow. Just for the record, I just want you to know this is my 50th year in the business this year. Oh, oh wow. Yeah. That's a long time. That is a long time. You started in 1964 with your band The Pleasure Seekers, with your sisters. Yeah, two sisters and two other sisters and their girl. Um, yeah, that went for like nine years and that turned to Cradle and then I got discovered by Mickey Most. You got discovered like a good 10, 12 years after you actually started. No, nine, nine years apprenticeship, that's uh, it. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, 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 that's right. You need to do that. Are yeah. you kidding me? Mm -hmm. what, what works when you make it overnight? Nothing works. Mm -hmm. Nothing it works. doesn't last. Okay. Okay. Uh, okay. <laughs> yes. That's an idea. That was quite funny. You should be a comedian. <laughs> <laughs> I was discovered after nine year apprenticeship. Because <laughs> I, I want to talk about this pleasure seekers. Because you were how old were you when you started? Thirteen. Fourteen. Fourteen. Yeah. Yeah. Well, you're the first real female rocker. Like you are the first one. Everyone else has kind of been after you. Like you took, yeah, exactly. Ella. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> John, I know it. <laughs> what I'm interested in is. You were in a band called The Pleasure Seekers at 14. How did your dad react to going, Dad? <laughs> we're called The Pleasure Seekers. My dad brought us all up with a sort of um, four girls, yep. you know, and one, one son. So he wanted us all to be very self-sufficient women. And he kind of always taught us that women have balls. Yep. <laughs> but, but we keep them in our head where they can't get kicked. <laughs> I will. I will. Now, speaking of families, Helen, I read that your dad is very, very proud of all his kids and there's a great story. What's he do with you? Your brother's an author? My brother's an author, yeah. yeah. And uh, dad likes to walk around in, in public areas with my brother's book under his arm, just in oh. case. Oh. <laughs> For this is the reason, just in case. Just in case anyone says, oh, so what are you reading? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> But your brother was also, you know, very supportive family because he went into a record store to buy your album. Yeah, and uh, he couldn't find it on the shelf, so went up to the guy and said, do you have this CD? And, and he said, oh, we usually do because her dad comes in all the time and <laughs> we're usually <laughs> truly stopped. And he said, oh, well, I'm actually her brother. And he said, oh, you're the author. Oh. <laughs> okay, let's get into round one. Your choices tonight are All That Jazz, mm -hmm. Motortown, yes. Piano Women, no. and House Music. No. Ella, you can choose <laughs> first. I do like jazz, but Susie, come on. I'm sorry, I'm from Detroit. Yeah. yeah. So Motortown for your team, I'm guessing, then? Let's yeah. do it. Okay, we're doing it. Yep. Yeah. Okay, Adam? You play the piano. I play the piano. Both you and me like jazz hands, though. <laughs> <laughs> Let's not do any jazz hands okay. tonight, Lawrence. Because once I start, it can't stop. <laughs> yeah, let's go for piano women. Piano women for you guys. Okay, we'll start with Motortown. Everyone, hands on your buzzers. Let's play sticks and specs. Your first question for one point. Detroit's highway M102 was referred to in the title of which film starring Eminem? Uh, Eight Mile. Eight Mile, yes it was. Eight Mile, well done. One point for six. Nice for two points. Name the founder of Motown Records and the stage name of his uh, youngest Barry son. Barry Gordy. 
<laughs> yes, Barry Gordy. And who's his youngest son? <laughs> I'll let him. I'll let him get. Oh. Hang on. Oh, what's his youngest son's name? Uh, Barry. <laughs> Barry. <laughs> Barry Gordy. I'm going to cross it over to these guys then. It's, Do you know his name of his son? The Red Foo. It is Red Foo. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Redford once attempted to enter the US Tennis Open, but he gave up on tennis because he lost in the qualifiers. If only music had qualifiers. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> Finally, have a listen to these songs from three Detroit artists. For three points, name the artists. Baby love, my baby love. Silver magic ships you carry. Yes, Ella's team. Um, um, was it what, was that the Supremes? Yeah. It was Diana Ross and the Supremes. Yeah. White stripes. Yeah. White Second stripes one was Rodriguez. Rodriguez. Well done, three out of three. Yeah. Oh, yes. Yeah. Okay. Oh, good. Nice to see four. Pleasure Seekers started. MC Five was also that's when they started. Alice Cooper, the Stooges were '67. You would. Were you gigging with all these guys? We gigged with all of them. Yeah. Detroit is a strange combination. You've got. You've got your Motown, which we all grew up with. And I mean, I can still do all the Temptations routines. <laughs> Please. Please. Go on, beg me. Yeah. <laughs> no, no, no. Yeah. Here we go, then. Yeah. Okay. Look out, human nature. Yeah. <laughs> I've got sunshine <laughs> on a cloudy day. That's all. <laughs> You've got your your white rock and roll, which yep. is the opposite. Which is the the little thing about Detroit is its energy. Yeah. And we all are glad to have survived Detroit, <laughs> really. And the foot's on the gas. It's there's a desperation in, yep. in in the white band rock and roll in Detroit. So you put that together with the Motown, you've got a pretty unique mm. city. Yeah. Even the hip hop scene there now is amazing. You people like Danny Brown and that coming out of there, which is just an incredible kind of scene. And but the the city itself is not really it's kind of it's in a lot of trouble like the city is bankrupt you had the um the race riots which changed a lot of the inner structure of the inner city and then the automobile industry went down so like everything that uh detroit had built its name on started disappearing motown left yeah. went to california yeah. so it changed the whole structure but not the spirit well i'm from geelong and the motor industry just left there too so i'm hoping for a, <laughs> hoping for a really Amazing big music. Uh, music revival yeah. in the chair <laughs> Geelong Rock City, I can yeah, see yeah. it. Detroit yeah. is what they call it, yeah. That's right. Just show us some of those classic Geelong moves, <laughs> Lewis. Geelong <laughs> 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 Yeah. I like that. OK, on to Piano Women. Your first question for one point. Name the American R&B singer whose surname is also 88 parts of a piano. <laughs> Alicia Keys. Alicia Keys, yes. Well <laughs> Next question. Have a look at this track listing from a best of album called Tales of a Librarian. For two points, I need the artist and the classification system used to arrange the songs. Ooh. Yes, Ella. Go, go, go. I believe it's by Tori Amos. It is Tori Amos, yes. And what's the system called that librarians use? Uh, it's the Dewey Decimal System. It yes. is the Dewey yes. Decimal System. Well done. Oh. Oh. Well done. Who would have thought the guy down the end of the glasses would know the Dewey Decimal no, System? No. Yeah. I'm mostly just here for the library knowledge. Yeah. <laughs> That's right. I'm, as an ex-librarian, I'm with you there. Yeah. yeah right this on. is my favourite fact about the Dewey. Uh, <laughs> oh. I've got, I've got many. Got so many. Uh, Scandinavian metal music. The call number is 821.666. Yeah. Oh. Oh, the call number of the beast. Yeah. Impressive. Well done. Oh. Scandinavian metal music. Yep. You can look it up in 821.66. Uh, <laughs> Finally, have a listen to this. For three points, tell me the title of the song and its two co-writers. Yes. Oh, Helen. Think of it. Um, so the co-writers were Sally Seltman. Yes, Australian Sally Seltman, yes. And Feist. Feist is, yes. And the song is called? One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Yes, it's Helen is correct. Yeah. <laughs> We talked uh, earlier about uh, Red Foo playing tennis. You were a tennis player yourself. Yeah, I played a lot of tennis growing up. You represented the state or <coughs> was it...? No. No. Oh. Um, <laughs> <laughs> no, I just played, you know, 
I trained three days a week and played on the weekends, travelled around country Victoria playing club tennis. I heard there was a you had to make a choice between music and tennis. Oh. Well, it, when I got to year 12, it was kind of choose between education and tennis. Oh. And I chose... Education. Wrong choice. Right? <laughs> no. <laughs> a similar decision that Redford made, but he didn't choose education or tennis. <laughs> As a young, as a young female tennis player, do you have to choose between grunting and screaming? Yeah. <laughs> Were you a grunter Were you or a, a screamer? screamer? <laughs> Just let... I think it's a question that needs to be asked. <laughs> I don't think it's a question that needs to be answered. Yeah. <laughs> Good okay, at the end of the first round, the scores are Adam, Helen, and Lawrence are on five points, but Ella, Susie, and Lewis are on seven points. Oh. Round two is called Stickity Spanks. This is a new game and here's how it works. I read out a quote from a famous musician and one word is replaced with the word spank. You have to tell me the missing word. Okay, <laughs> Ella, Susie and Lewis, here's your first one. When talking about songwriting, Bob Dylan said, the people in my songs are all spank. Mm. <laughs> I know that the joke Fictional. is spank, but... Fictional. I was going to say real though, no, Susie. I would have thought assume okay, the opposite. Okay, it I could mean, be. Like could... Sarah, Sarah. Mystical jewel, love of my life. That should be an idiot. Hurricane, yeah. that's at least one person who was definitely real. Hurricane, we've got Hurricane, Hurricane we've got Sarah, we've got Idiot Wind, again. Yeah, but don't Sarah. follow leaders. Well, I should park in meters. Yeah. I know we're gonna do this. Right, so. She takes just like a woman. I can do this all yeah, night. She does. Yes, she does. <laughs> she takes just, just like a woman. The yeah, yeah, she does. But, <laughs> but she breaks just, just like a little girl. girl. <laughs> <laughs> all right. <laughs> we need an answer. Okay. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Okay, real. We real. 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 We're going to say real. You're going to say real? The I'm answer right, was me. Oh. Oh. The people Ow. in my songs are all me. He's so clever. Again with the hurricane mm. reference. I'm just, just, <laughs> just like a woman? Who knows? Yeah. <laughs> Adam, Helen and Lawrence, here's your first one. Kanye West once observed, the idea of spank and vanity are like synonymous. He said so many things that we should never <laughs> yes. hear from again. Um, <laughs> Oh, I love Kanye. I love Kanye, but he should just the stick to the music and stop with the chat chat. Oh. <laughs> also, the marrying idiots. Um, well, um, fame, fame and vanity. Yeah, Kanye talks about Kanye a lot. Like mm. the fact that that yes, sentence does. doesn't have Kanye in it <laughs> <laughs> leads it me to believe that the, the word idea missing of Kanye is Kanye and vanity are like synonymous. So Why don't we go with your lead and go Kanye? Mm. Let's see if it's Kanye. It is Kanye! Yeah! <laughs> 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 right, Ella, Susie and Lewis, here's your final one. Lily Allen had this to say about some other prominent women. Dolly Parton is a spank. Adele's a spank. Angela Merkel is a spank. Rihanna's an inspiring spank. <laughs> Miley's a spank rising. She's my hero. Kate Middleton is not a spank. <laughs> yeah, I mean, what I could put in there, you know. Yeah. Um, <laughs> know. This is not going to be, like, very PC, but I'm pretty sure I know what it is. Really? And I still don't know how I feel about the use of this word as a positive. But Ooh. it's bitch. Let's see Ooh, if it's bitch. Makes is it bitch? It is bitch. Yes, yeah. you are correct. <laughs> How is it meant as a positive thing? Well, her new song is called It's Hard Out Here for a Bitch. So she's saying she's a bitch, bitches get yeah. things done, all these people are bitches. Kate Middleton, you're not a bitch. No. I just yeah. love um, that she threw an Angela Merkel in there. I, I do like the idea of Angela Merkel just going, mm-hmm, <laughs> <laughs> get it done. Adam, Helen and Lawrence, here's your final mm -hmm. one. Susie Quattro here oh. said this about her producer Mickey Most. He has never once, the whole time I've known him, asked me to do anything that would be stepping out of my spank. <laughs> Leather jumpsuit? No, no. clues. <laughs> I'm wondering if it's long enough ago, Susie, was there an implication that you did certain things no, to get where a, you this are? this isn't a yes and no thing. Yeah. <laughs> I'll give you a clue. I, I am quotable and I always mean what I say and I'm not frivolous, so think about it mm. in that terms. Definitely wow. jumpsuit. <laughs> uh, 
<laughs> stepping out of my zone. 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 Just, Just zone. Okay, what we're going to do, don't say, because we actually have the footage <gasps> from oh. your episode of GTK. Let's have a look at what, Susie, you actually did say. He's never once, the whole time I've known him, asked me to do anything that would be stepping out of my character. Character! Character! Yes. Yes. Is that what you were going to say? Yes. Yeah, oh, good, yeah. good. I was just saying yeah. if you thought, oh, no. Because it's okay, something I would say. I, yeah. I, I have been my whole life like that. I have to be exactly as I am. Yeah. And I don't want anybody to try to change anything about me. I'm, you can't ever tell me what to do. Mm -hmm. I'm really a sticker on it. You can suggest. Yeah. <laughs> Carefully. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Seriously. So, yeah, I've, I've always been the same. You're, you're safe, honey. You're all right. <laughs> what are you saying about me? Am I in trouble? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah absolutely. <laughs> So after this round, the scores are Adam, Helen and Lawrence are on six points, but Ella, Susie and Lewis are in the lead on eight points. Oh. Round three is called Step Back in Time. We'll be playing a number of songs backwards. The teams have to buzz in when they recognise the songs. Here's your first one. Everyone, hands on your buzzers. <laughs> Yes, it's uh, Ethel oh. Merman. It's, is it No Business Like, like Show Business? There is there's No Business Like Show Business. Well done, my boy. I love Ethel. Let's have a listen to what it sounds like forwards. Here we go. There's no business like show business like show business. Okay, no next song, everyone. <laughs> yes, Adam's team again. That's Katy Perry. It is Katy Perry. And what's the song? Is it. Raw? raw? Say it, is Helen. It raw? Say it out loud. Raw. raw. It is raw. Let's hear what it sounds like. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Makes you want to lose weight, doesn't it? No. no. Okay. <laughs> okay, here is your next one, everyone. Oh, oh, Dr. Bay, Otis Redding. Yeah. It is oh Dr. Bay, Otis Redding. I got so excited. Yeah. <laughs> Here's what it sounds like when played normally. <laughs> I'm oh, terrified. I keep my hand there now. <laughs> 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 I'm not gentle. I'm sorry. Maybe you can go on the bottom and we'll go on top. <laughs> yes. But look at this size. Look. No, <laughs> Did you ever think you'd say that to Susie Crawford? All I'm saying is you can be on the bottom or the top. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think Susie's ever been on the bottom. <laughs> <laughs> I might. <laughs> If you, if, if you tire me out enough. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. Uh, and here is your final one. <laughs> is it? Yes. Who let the dogs out? It is yes. who let the dogs out by the Baha Men. <laughs> now, let's hear it forwards. Who let the dogs out? Enough of that. Yeah. <laughs> was it ever confirmed as to who actually did? Yeah. Who did? It's still a mystery. Was who it knows? the same guy that killed the sheriff? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So after this round, the scores are Adam, Helen, and Lawrence are on nine points. Also on nine points are <gasps> Ella, Susie, and Lewis. Oh, <laughs> One member from each team must sing some popular songs using the words from a random book and their teammates have to work out what the songs are. Now Susie, you're going to be singing for Ella and Lewis and you'll be substituting lyrics from The History of Rubber. <laughs> <laughs> I always put the rubbers on the wrong way. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, can you please give up for Susie Quattro? Yeah. Okay, guys, I want you to focus. All right, we're ready. Okay. Little more than a century ago, rubber, as we know it today, did not exist. Yet in the modern world, rubber is one of our most indispensable ability materials without rubber, my on transport. You got it? Rock around the rubber. Yeah. I mean, clock. <laughs> Rock around the clock. Okay, Susie, your next song when you're ready. Okay. Rubber tree, bum 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 bum, sat or latex, dun 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 dun, oh. immediately yeah. begins. Yes. Sugar, sugar, sugar. Yes, yes. yes. she oh, said it, candy. she said it. Is it honey or sugar? sugar it's sugar, sugar. 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 <laughs> like, what about like, yes, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I'm too 
very scared to tell Susie that that's not how you play it. Um, <laughs> <laughs> OK, and the last one when you're ready, Susie. Rubber trees are cared for as carefully as prized. Cattle, the soil is fertilized. I could have danced all yes, night. Yes, you could and have it's danced actually, all night. It's actually the song of the pregnant ballerina. I should have danced all night. <laughs> <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Susie Quattro. Gosling, you're going to be singing for Adam and Lawrence. You're going to be taking your lyrics from Romance of Australian Transport. <laughs> so here is your book, here is your card. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome to the stage, Gosling. Come down here, Lawrence. First song, When You're Ready, Helen. At the turn of the century, there was approximately one horse for every man, <laughs> woman, and child in the country, and it seemed ridiculous <laughs> <laughs> to suggest that the horse would ever be place to any large extent steam engines need a large you know supply <laughs> yes adam what was it it's toxic it is toxic my pretty skin hold on <laughs> beautiful i want to do a project on transport now <laughs> <laughs> okay your second song thank you helen Many farmers could not afford a tractor and car And this gave the Australian motor industry A valuable argument when the government decided To restrict the import of cars Yes, Adam? It's a spoonful of sugar from Mary Poppins yeah, It is correct, well done <laughs> Thank you, Thanks to computer controlled ordering and assembly line programming, customers could order virtually any type of car they like. Or could man you fire? I'm annoyed beautiful. you pressed the button then. I really like that. <laughs> Let it yes. keep going. Yes, Lawrence. <laughs> <laughs> it's gone out of my head. It's, it's the cold play. It's oh. fix you. It is fix you. Yes, well fix done. You. Yes. Ladies and gentlemen, please come up for Gosling. After this round, the scores are Adam, Helen, and Lawrence are on 12 points, and also on 12 points are Ella, Susie, and Lewis. Oh. <laughs> Teams, hands on your buzzers. You one point you. for a correct answer, one point off That's for good. an incorrect answer. Your questions start now. The old Razzle Dazzle is the third album of which uh. Missy? Yes, Ella's team. Missy Higgins. Missy Higgins, you are correct. One point. Rat Pack Crooner D Martin is also known as the King of What? The King of Cool. King of Cool, yes, one point. <laughs> Have a listen to this and tell me the name of the song. Oh! Yes, Lewis. Um, that was Macklemore and Ryan Lewis's Thrift Shop. It is, one point for you, well done. Yeah, there you go. It would have been yeah. really bad. I would have been fired from Triple J. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Which three words come next in this song? Lollipop, lollipop, oh, lolly, 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 I was looking for lolly, 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 but you get one point. <laughs> Which Aussie hip hop artist has a performing name that equals the number of degrees in a circle? Yes, Helen? <laughs> 360. It is 360. <laughs> in the musical South Pacific, what does Nellie Forbush want to wash out of her hair? The man right out of her hair. Yes. That, that, man. that man. That man, yes. That man. Jackson Brown's song, The Loadout, is about which of his employees? The Roadies. The Roadies, yes. Well done. Oh, One point. Nice. And your final question true or false? There is an actual Devil Gate Drive in Santa Fe, New Mexico. True or false? Yes. It is the truth. It is false. There's no. <laughs> <anywhere>. <laughs> I did that for you, Susie. <laughs>
And the final scores are Adam, Helen and Lawrence are on 14 points. But our winners tonight are Ella, oh. Susie and Lewis on 16 points. Oh. Tonight, Susie Quattro, Lewis Hobber, <laughs> Jocelyn, and Lawrence Mooney. And of course, our two team captains, Ella Hooper and Adam Richard. Tonight, we're going to close the show with the end of that interview on GTK that introduced Australia to Susie Quattro and her song, Can the Can. <gasps> Thanks for watching Spicks and Specs. My name's Josh Earl. See you next week. Business is like a fantasy and a dream come true. It's more like the fact that you know that you can do it and do it well, so it's your job instead of the way like a lot of performers go off the deep end, you know? Like they really think that they're gods and they're not. So I think it's given me a sort of stable view of being able to do my job and do it well. It's, it shouldn't be uh, something that you go around bragging about all the time. And you think you'll be able to keep that up, keep your ego under control? Yeah, definitely. I'm not an egotistical person that way anyhow. Never have been. I like my job too much. Really sexy during that. <laughs> oh, <I'm> sexy. <laughs> you are sexy. Even I'm about to turn. <laughs> Only music had qualifiers. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> Finally, have a listen to these songs from three Detroit artists. For three points, name the artists. Baby love, my baby love. Silver magic ships you carry. Yes, Ella's team. Um, um, was it was that the, the Supremes? Baby. It was Diana Ross and the Supremes. Yeah. White Stripes. Yeah. White Second stripes one was Rodriguez. Rodriguez. Oh, don't three out of three. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. 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 Nine sixty four. Pleasure Seeker started. MC five was also. That's when they started. Alice Cooper. The Stooges were sixty seven. You would. Were you gigging with all these guys? We gigged with all of them. Yeah. Detroit is a strange combination. You've got. You've got your Motown, which we all grew up with. And we, I mean, I can still do all the Temptations routines. <laughs> Please. Go on, beg me. Yeah. <laughs> no, no, no. Yeah. Here we go, then. <laughs> okay. Look out, human nature. Yeah. <laughs> I've got sunshine <laughs> on a cloudy day. That's all. <laughs> You've got your, your white rock and roll, which yep. is the opposite, which is the, the little thing about Detroit is its energy. Yeah. And we all are glad to have survived Detroit, <laughs> really. And the foot's on the gas. It's, there's a desperation in, in, yep. in the white band rock and roll in Detroit. So you put that together with the Motown, you've got a pretty unique mm. city. Yeah, even the hip hop scene there now is amazing. You've got like Danny Brown and that coming out of there, which is just an incredible kind of scene. And, but the, the city itself is not really it's kind of it's in a lot of trouble like the city is bankrupt you had the um the race riots which changed a lot of the inner structure of the inner city and then the automobile industry went down so like everything that uh detroit had built its name on started disappearing motown left yeah. went to california yeah. so it changed the whole structure but not the spirit well i'm from geelong and the motor industry just left there too so i'm hoping for a, <laughs> hoping for a really Amazing big music. Uh, music revival yeah. in the jet <laughs> Geelong Rock City, I can yeah, see it. Yeah. Detroit is what they call it, yeah. That's right. Let's show us some of those classic Geelong moves, Lewis. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Geelong Jenner! Yeah. 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 I like that. 
<laughs> okay, on to piano women. Your first question for one point. Name the American R&B singer whose surname is also 88 parts of a piano. Alicia Keys. Alicia Keys, yes. Well done. Ah. <laughs> Next question. Have a look at this track listing. For Fall of Eaters. Watch the pocket meters. Yes. Yeah. I know. We're gonna do this. Right. She can do this. Just like a walk. Come on. I can do this all yes, night. Yes, she does. <laughs> she <laughs> eats just, just like a woman. The yes, she does. <laughs> but, but she breaks, breaks just, just like, like a little, little girl. girl. <laughs> We need an answer. Okay. Oh, yeah. <laughs> okay. Real. 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 We're going to say real. You're going to say it real? The answer right, was me. Oh. The people in my songs are all me. He's so clever. Again with the mm. hurricane reference. Like, just, not. Like <laughs> just like a woman? Who knows? <laughs> Adam, Helen and Lawrence, here's your first one. Kanye West once observed, the idea of spank and vanity are like synonymous. He said so many things that we should never yes. hear from again. Um, oh, I love Kanye. I love Kanye, but he should just the stick to the music and stop with the chat chat. Mm. <laughs> also, the marrying idiots. Um, well, um, fame, fame and vanity. Yeah, Kanye talks about Kanye a lot. Like mm. the fact that that yes, sentence does. doesn't have Kanye in it. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe leads it does. me to believe that the, the word idea missing of Kanye is Kanye. Kanye and vanity are like synonymous. So Why don't we go with your lead and go Kanye? Mm. Let's see if it's Kanye. It is Kanye! Yeah. 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 Right, Ella, Susie and Lewis, here's your final one. Lily Allen had this to say about some other prominent women. Dolly Parton is a spank. Adele's a spank. Angela Merkel is a spank. Rihanna's an inspiring spank. <laughs> Miley's a spank rising. She's my hero. Kate Middleton is not a spank. <laughs> yeah, I mean, what I could put in there, you know. Yeah. Um, <laughs> you know. This is not going to be, like, very PC, but I'm pretty sure I know what it is. Really? And I still don't know how I feel about the use of this word as a positive. But Ooh. it's bitch. Let's see Ooh, if it's bitch. Make sense. Is it bitch? <laughs> it is bitch. Yes, yeah. you are correct. <laughs> How is it meant as a positive thing? Well, her new song is called It's Hard Out Here for a Bitch. So she's saying she's a bitch, bitches get yeah. things done, all these people are bitches. Kate Middleton, you're not a bitch. No. I just yeah. love um, that she threw an Angela Merkel in there. I, I do like the idea of Angela Merkel just going, mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> get it done. Adam, Helen and Lawrence, here's your final mm -hmm. one. Susie Quattro here oh. said this about her producer, Mickey Most. He has never once, the whole time I've known him, asked me to do anything that would be stepping out of my spank. <laughs> Leather jumpsuit? No, no. clues. <laughs> I'm wondering if it's long enough ago, Susie, was there an... Get it done. Adam, Helen and Lawrence, here's your final mm -hmm. one. Susie Quattro here... Oh! ...said this about her producer, Mickey Most. He has never once, the whole time I've known him, asked me to do anything that would be stepping out of my spank. <laughs> Leather jumpsuit? No, no. clues. <laughs> I'm wondering if it's long enough ago, Susie, was there an implication that you did certain things no, to get where a, you this are? this isn't a yes and no thing. Yeah. <laughs> I'll give you a clue. I, I am quotable and I always mean what I say and I'm not frivolous, so think about it mm. in that terms. Definitely wow. jumpsuit. <laughs> uh, <laughs> stepping out of my... Zone? Zone. zone. Just, just zone. OK, what we're going to do, don't say because we actually have the footage oh. from oh. your episode of GTK. Let's have a look at what, Susie, you actually did say. These never once, the whole time I've known him, asked me to do anything that would be stepping out of my character. Character! character. Yes! Character. Character. Now, is that what you were going to say? Yes. Yeah, good, yeah. good. I was just saying yeah. if you thought, oh, no. Because it's something I would say. I, yeah. I, I have been my whole life like that. I have to be exactly as I am. Yeah. And I don't want anybody to try to change anything about me. You can't ever tell me what to do. Mm -hmm. I'm really a sticker on it. You can suggest. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Carefully. Yeah. <laughs> no, seriously. So, yeah, I've, I've always been the same. You're, you're safe, honey. You're all right. <laughs> what are you saying about me? Am I in trouble? Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> So after this round, the scores are Adam, Helen and Lawrence are on six points, but Ella, Susie and Lewis are in the lead on eight points. Oh. Round three.
three is called Step Back in Time. We'll be playing a number of songs backwards. The teams have to buzz in when they recognise the songs. Here's your first one. Everyone, hands on your buzzers. <laughs> It's uh, Ethel oh. Merman. It's, yeah. Is it no business like, like show? There business. is there's no business like show business. Hold on, my boy. I love Ethel. Let's have a listen to it. What it sounds like forwards. Here we go. There's no business like show business like. Okay, no. next song, everyone. <laughs> yes, Adam's team again. That's Katy Perry. Mm. It is Katy Perry, and what's the song? Is it? Raw? Say it, Helen. Say it out loud. Raw. It is raw. Let's hear what it sounds like. Yeah, Tom. Raw. 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 Hello, my name's Joshua. Welcome to Spicks and Specs, the music quiz show that was somebody you used to know, but now we only keep in touch via Facebook. Yeah. <laughs> Would you please welcome our team captains, the blue jean baby Ella Hooper. <laughs> and the seamstress for the band, it's Adam Richard. <laughs> Ella's first guest is a rock and roll legend, a writer, an actor, a radio DJ, and once voiced a character in the Bob the Builder film. <laughs> can she multitask? Yes, she can. It's Susie Quattro. <laughs> Ella's second team member is a comedian who knows every word to Vanilla Ice's Ice Ice Baby. Oh. Who says Gen Y don't have any real life skills? <laughs> Please welcome from Triple J, Lewis Hobber. <laughs> Adam's first guest said she wanted to get lonely and depressed when recording her last album, so she went to Tasmania. <laughs> Someone's not getting quoted in the new Tasmanian tourism ads. Please welcome Gosling, <laughs> otherwise known as Helen Froome. <laughs> and Adam's final guest is a comedian who told us he listened to a lot of Dean Martin. This guest is the guy from Dirty Laundry Live, it's a Mooney. <laughs> Please welcome Lawrence Mooney. Now, Susie, I want to start with you. This is not the first time you've been in this studio. You've been... Countdown was filmed in here and you hosted Countdown. I did host Countdown yeah. years ago. I've been coming here since 1974. 1974. Wow. Just for the record, I just want you to know this is my 50th year in the business this year. Oh, oh wow. wow. That's a long time. That is a long time. You started in 1964 with your band, The Pleasure Seekers, with your sisters. Yeah, two sisters and two other sisters and their girl. Um, yeah, that went for like nine years and that turned to cradle and then I got discovered by Mickey Most. You got discovered like a good 10, 12 years after you actually started. No, nine, right. nine years yeah. apprenticeship. That's uh, it. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's right. You need to do that. Are yeah. you kidding me? Mm -hmm. what, what works when you make it overnight? Nothing works. Mm -hmm. Nothing it works. Doesn't last. Okay. Okay. Uh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> that was quite funny. You should be a comedian. <laughs> <laughs> I was discovered after a nine year apprenticeship. <laughs> I'll, I'll talk about this pleasure seekers because you were, how old were you when you started? 13? 14. 14. 14. Yeah. Yeah, well, you're the first real female rocker. Like, you are the first one. E everyone else has kind of been after you. Like, you yeah, exactly. Ella, here. <laughs> <laughs> John, I know it. <laughs> what I'm interested in is. You were in a band called The Pleasure Seekers at 14. How did your dad react to going, Dad, we're called The Pleasure Seekers? My dad brought us all up with a sort of um, four girls, yep. you know, and one, one son. So he wanted us all to be very self-sufficient women. And he kind of always taught us that women have balls. Yep. But of cars. They light or could manufacture. Oh, I'm annoyed beautiful. you pressed the button then. I really like that. Let it yes. keep going. Yes, Lawrence. <laughs> <laughs> It's gone out of my head. It's, it's the cold place. Oh. Fix you. It is fix you. Yes, well fix done. You. Yes. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, please come up for Gosling. So 
So after this round, the scores are Adam, Helen and Lawrence are on 12 points and also on 12 points are Ella, Susie and Lewis. Oh. Oh. Teams, hands on your buzzers. You one point it, for a correct answer, one point off for an incorrect answer. Your questions start now. The old Razzle Dazzle is the third album of which uh. Missy? Yes, Ella's team. Missy Higgins. Missy Higgins, you are correct. One point. Rat Pack Truna D Martin is also known as the King of What? The King of Cool. King of Cool, yes, one point for you. <laughs> Have a listen to this and tell me the name of the song. Oh! Yes, Lewis. Um, that was Macklemore and Ryan Lewis's thrift shop. It is. One point for you. Well done. Yeah, there yeah. you go. It would have been yeah. really bad. I would have been fired from Triple J. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Which three words come next in this song? Lollipop, lollipop, oh, lolly, 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 lollipop, oh, lolly. <laughs> I was looking for lolly, 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 but you get one point. <laughs> Which Aussie hip hop artist has a performing name that equals the number of degrees in a circle? Yes, Helen. <laughs> three sixty. It is three sixty. <laughs> In the musical South Pacific, what does Nellie Forbush want to wash out of her hair? The man right out yes. of her hair. That, 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 that man. Yes. That man. Jackson Brown's song "The Loadout" is about which of his employers? The roadies. The roadies. Yes. Well done. Oh, One point. Nice. And your final question: True or false? There is an actual Devil Gate Drive in Santa Fe, New Mexico. True or false? Yes. It is the truth. It is false. There's no. <laughs> <anywhere>. <laughs> Yeah. I did that for you, Susie. <laughs> <laughs> and the final scores are Adam, Helen and Lawrence are on 14 points. Then our winners tonight are Ella, Susie oh. and yeah. Lewis on 16 oh. points. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Would you please thank our guests for tonight? Susie Quattro, Lewis Holber, <laughs> Gosling and Lawrence Mooney. <laughs> and of course, our two team captains, Ella Hooper and Adam Richard. Tonight we're going to close the show with the end of that interview on GTK that introduced Australia to Susie Quattro and her song, Can the Can. <gasps> Thanks for watching Spicks and Specs. My name's Josh Earl. See you next week. The business is like a fantasy and a dream come true. It's more like the fact that you know that you can do it and do it. Oh, hang on. Oh, Actually, is your son's name? Uh, Barry. <laughs> Barry. <laughs> Barry Cuddy. I'm going to cross it over to these guys then. It's, do you know his name of your son? the Red Food. It is Red <laughs> Food, yes. <Yeah. laughs> <laughs> Now, Redford once attempted to enter the US Tennis Open, but he gave up on tennis because he lost in the qualifiers. If only music had qualifiers. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> Finally, have a listen to these songs from three Detroit artists. For three points, name the artists. Baby love, my baby love. Silver magic ships you carry. Yes, Ella's team. Um, was that, what, was that the, the Supremes? Famous. It was Diana Ross and the Supremes. Yeah. White Stripes. Yeah. White Second stripes one was Rodriguez. Rodriguez. Well done, three out of three. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. 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 Pleasure Seeker started. MC5 was also, that's when they started. Alice Cooper. The Stooges were 67. You were, were you gigging with all these guys? We gigged with all of them. Yeah. Detroit is a strange combination. You've got... You've got your Motown, which we all grew up with. And we, I mean, I can still do all the Temptations routines. <laughs> Please. Go on, beg me. Yeah. <laughs> Not another yeah. Here we go, then. <laughs> okay. What about human nature? Yeah. <laughs> I've got sunshine <laughs> on a cloudy day. That's all. <laughs> You've got your, your white rock and roll, which yep. is the opposite, which is the, the little thing about Detroit is it's energy. Yeah. And we all are glad to have survived Detroit. <laughs> really. And the foot's on the gas. It's, there's a desperation in, in, yep. in the white band rock and roll in Detroit. So you put that together with the Motown, you've got a pretty unique mm. city. Yeah, even the hip hop scene there now is amazing. You've got people like Danny Brown and that coming out of there, which is just an incredible kind of scene. And, but the, the city itself is not really it's kind of it's in a lot of trouble like the city is bankrupt you had the um the race riots which changed a lot of the inner structure of the inner city and then the automobile industry went down so like everything that uh detroit had built its name on started disappearing motown left yeah. went to california yeah. so it changed the whole structure but not the spirit 
Well, I'm from Geelong, and the motor industry just left there too. So I'm hoping for a, hoping for a really big music, uh, music revival yeah. in the Jinx <laughs> Geelong Rock City, I can yeah, see it. Yeah. <laughs> Jinxroid is what they call it, yeah. That's right. Let's show us some of those classic Geelong moves, <laughs> Lewis. <laughs> Speaking of families, Helen, I read that your dad is very, very proud of all his kids and there's a great story. What's he do with you? Your brother's an author? My brother's an author, yeah. yeah. And uh, dad likes to walk around in, in public areas with my brother's book under his arm, just in oh. case. Oh. <laughs> but this is the reason, just in case. Just in case anyone says, oh, so what are you reading? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> But your brother was also, you know, very supportive family because he went into a record store to buy your album. Yeah, and uh, he couldn't find it on the shelf, so went up to the guy and said, do you have this CD? And, and he said, oh, we usually do because her dad comes in all the time and <laughs> we're usually <laughs> truly stopped. And he said, oh, well, I'm actually her brother. And he said, oh, you're the author. Oh. <laughs> OK, let's get into round one. Your choices tonight are All That Jazz, mm -hmm. Motortown, yes. Piano Women, no. and House Music. No. Ella, you can choose <laughs> first. I do like jazz, but Susie, come on. I'm sorry, I'm from Detroit. Yeah. yeah. So Motortown for your team, I'm guessing, then? Let's yeah. do it. Okay, we're doing it. Yep. Yep. Okay, Adam? You play the piano. I play the piano. Both you and me like jazz hands, though. <laughs> <laughs> Let's not do any jazz hands okay. tonight, Lawrence. Because once I start, it can't stop. <laughs> yeah, let's go for piano women. Piano women for you guys. Okay, we'll start with Motortown. Everyone, hands on your buzzers. Let's play sticks and specs. Your first question for one point. Detroit's highway M102 was referred to in the title of which film starring Eminem? Eight Mile. Eight Mile. Yes, it was. Eight Mile. Well done. One point for six. For two points. Name the founder of Motown Records and the stage name of his uh, youngest Barry son. Barry Gordy. Yes, Barry Gordy. And who's his youngest son? I'll let him, oh, I'll let him oh, get oh, Hang on. Oh, what's his youngest son's name? Uh, Barry. Barry. <laughs> Barry Gordy. I'm going to cross it over to these guys then. It's, Do you know his name of his son? the Red Foo. It is Red Foo, <laughs> yes. Now, Redford once attempted to enter the US Tennis Open, but he gave up on tennis because he lost in the qualifiers. If only music had qualifiers. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> Finally, have a listen to these songs from three Detroit artists. For three points, name the artists. Baby love, my baby love. Silver magic ships you carry. Yes, Ella's team. Um, was that, was that, was that the, the Supremes? Baby. It was Diana Ross and the Supremes. Yeah. White Stripes. Yeah. White Second stripes one was Rodriguez. Rodriguez. Well done, three out of three. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. 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 1964, Pleasure Seeker started 